Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. And today, I'm going to be doing the all time Stanford Cardinals team led by Andrew Luck and John Elway, two amazing quarterbacks that went to this university. But the first game I'm going to be playing is going to be led by this card 93 overall, Andrew Luck, 97 throw power, 93 play action, 91 throw mid, and 90 throw short. He had an amazing career at Stanford University, went number one overall. And you guys know the rest of the story. So moving on, John Elway, one of the best to ever do it. 96 throw power, 93 throw short, 92 throw mid, and 95 throw deep. Moving on to the running back, we have Toby Gerhardt, 96 overall, Campus Hero Edition, 100 carrying, 99 ball carry vision, 98 truck, 93 speed, all around beast. Backing him up is Tyler Gaffney, 89 speed and 92 acceleration. I also had to get his base gold version just in case I needed him. Moving on to the wide receivers, we have 95 overall, Doug Baldwin, 95 speed, 97 sped catch, 99 catch and traffic, all around stud in my opinion. And wide receiver two, we have Zach Ertz, 89 speed, 96 sped catch, 95 release, and 95 catch. A card I haven't used yet, but I'm very excited to do so. In the slot, we have Doug Baldwin, once again, 87 overall wide receiver. And then at wide receiver four, don't you ever talk about me. We have Richard Sherman, 81 overall, 87 speed, 87 catch, 96 jump. Man, gonna be lobbing it up to him as much as possible. And at wide receiver five, we have Griff Whalen, 85 speed. And then fullback, we have Ryan Hewitt. Okay, so let's move on to the line. Three, David DeCastro's, his campus hero, his football outsiders, and his base gold. And then we also have David Yankee and Joshua Garnett. On to the tight ends, we have Zach Ertz, 93 overall tight end, 87 speed, 94 catch, 94 spec catch. Backing him up is Kobe Fleener, 90 speed, 88 catch and traffic, 86 route running. And at tight end three, we have Levine Toilolo, one of my favorite names to say, 83 speed, 83 catch, and 81 run block. Now onto the defense, we have Ed Reynolds, 67 overall free safety, 86 speed, and 90 acceleration. Strong safety, we have Johnson Batamosi, 90 speed, 87 acceleration. On to the linebackers, we have two Trent Murphys, one of them is his base gold version, 74 overall linebacker, and then at right outside linebacker, we have his Campus Hero Edition, this card looks amazing, 88 speed, 97 tackle, 93 pursuit, 94 hit power, and at MLB, I was supposed to get two Shane Scoes, but I could not find his 84 overall version, so I'm just going to have to rock with this one, and I filled in with a random silver card, because I did not want to use a really good card, that wouldn't be fair to what I'm trying to do. And on to the D-line, man, this is very, very bad. This is, this is terrible, man. We have the best player on the D-line being a silver card. Like, I cannot believe this. We're going to get destroyed up the middle. But, yeah, Henry Anderson, 66 overall right end, is our best player on the D-line. David Perry, D-tackle, Josh Moreau, and Ben Gardner rounding out the rest of it. On to the cornerbacks, though. The strongest part of the defense because you already know who's featured at four of the five slots man this is going to be epic richard sherman team of the year version at cb1 at cb2 we have team of the week richard sherman at cb3 we have 89 overall base elite richard sherman at cb4 we have alex carter 88 speed 87 acceleration and then at cornerback number five we have another richard sherman because why not man four out of the five cornerback positions are all man by Richard Sherman. So this is going to be crazy, man. I'm going to be playing man defense as much as possible, hoping my opponent does not run the ball because if he does, we will not have any chance of winning this game. But I like the offense I have, man. I have a lot of good weapons. It just depends. Will my defense be able to stop the run? Let's find out. So we're going to start this game off on defense, rocking these Colts uniforms. My opponent's going to attack us through the air early on. Sherman's getting burnt right there. We have four elite Richard Shermans. And I expect us to at least clamp him up. If you play man coverage right there, we almost get the interception. And then this time we decide to go to zone. And that was a terrible decision because he's going to squeeze his way right through the defense. And he goes in for the touchdown. So we're down 7-0. On offense, my plan is pretty much pound the rock and hopefully free up the passing lanes. And right here on second and inches, we're going to roll out to the right. Andrew Luck finding Zach Ertz for a beautiful pass. We get across midfield. Now we're in the second and eight. We find Ertz once again. This is going to be a huge game. Look at that block from Doug Baldwin. The tiptoe down the sideline. Zach Ertz in for the touchdown. Tie ball game, baby. We're back on defense. Second and three. He's going to drop all the way back. No pressure on the quarterback. 
and he's gonna go ahead and Moss with your Sherman. Terrible start from all of my Shermans, man. None of them coming to play right now. We end up giving him a wide open touchdown. So we're back on offense, down seven points. Andrew Luck escaping the pocket, shaking off a tackle, picking up the first down and then some. Right now he's doing it both with his legs and his arms. On the third and four, he's gonna roll out and find Doug Baldwin coming across the middle, picking up the first down. So we're moving and grooving. Two minute warning has hit in the second quarter. Toby Gerhardt lowering his shoulder, picking up the first down. And now he's gonna send the heat and he's gonna force a fumble. How do we not pick that up? Oh my God, the awareness is on a zero right now as we give up a turnover and he's going to end up getting inside the 15 yard line off of that pass and third and one with no time remaining. He's going to find his receiver wide open and he takes a two possession lead heading into the second half, man. Terrible turn of events right there and we have to find a way to get some points on the board. Zachers with an incredible one handed catch right there. He's going to send the heat and we're going to find Doug Baldwin off of a nice zig route going down the sideline that speed though. Picking up a huge gain, second and ten this time. Rolling out to the left, Andrew Luck going off his back foot. In for the touchdown is Toby Gerhardt. It's only a one possession game, but I became a little bit too relaxed, man. As he's going to hit me over the top, man. We got to give Sherman some help. That was not his fault. That was all me right there. Terrible call, but third and four, we get a nice deflection. And now we're back on offense. Andrew Luck standing in the pocket, delivering a strike to Zach Ertz. It's do or die time, man. The fourth quarter has begun, second and four. We're looking, we find R1, Toby Gerhardt streaking down the sideline, one man to beat, he gets tripped up, but that's a beautiful game, man. We're in a third and eight situation, right back to Zach Ertz, one of his favorite targets right now, and we have to put up seven, and we squeeze it in there somehow, some way, we end up getting a touchdown, we're only down three points, and remember that play from earlier in the game where Sherman got burnt, that's my fault for not adjusting, because he hit me with the same exact play, the same exact drought. And that's pretty much going to do it for this one, man. He's going to pick up the first down. This is actually going to seal the victory for my opponent, man. As he gets in for the touchdown off of a beautiful pass. And we end up losing in the first game of this all-time Stanford Cardinals team. Andrew Luck could not get it done. Let's see if John Elway can in game number two. First and ten. My opponent's dropping back. Going to go deep. And Sherman's getting burnt again, man. What is going on? I thought I had an amazing secondary. Turns out that was a lie. So we're on offense for the very first time. Toby Gerhardt pretty much carrying the team right now. Tyler Gaffney, though, his backup. Going to get a nice game right there. We're in a second and one. He's going to send the heat. And we find Toby Gerhardt out of the backfield. And we're going to go right back to him. Because why not? The guy's on fire. He's in for the touchdown. We have a tie ball game, folks. First and ten back on defense. He's going to try me deep. And Sherman says, don't test me with a sorry ass receiver. He tipped it to himself. And we get the interception. We're looking to house this double juke to the outside. Down the sideline. Nobody's in front of us. But we get hauled from behind by David Johnson. Nevertheless, though, we have amazing field position. Right back to the hot hand. Toby Gerhardt getting a nice game. Third and two. Right up the gut. Trucking the defender. Getting the first down. The guy's playing amazing. And I had to ruin it, man. The Stevie Reed of the day right there. Awful decision to throw it. And when you're an 80 overall team, you cannot afford to make mistakes like that. Because sooner or later, he's going to start making acrobatic catches over the defense. And right here, he runs the toss, turns the edge, and we barely save a touchdown right there. Third and five, he's going to dump it down. And he's going to settle for three points. So I consider that a win right there. Even though we turned the ball over, we still had him to a field goal. So we're only down one possession. Toby Gerhardt making plays left and right. Man, this time right up the gut, gonna follow his blockers, crossing midfield, getting around the 40 yard line, second and seven. Elway rolling out to the right, chase from behind and in front of him. Instead, he decides to throw a dot, man. He does not care about the pressure in his face. This time he's gonna find Doug Baldwin, back to back plays, down at the one yard line, 18 seconds left. I gotta reward the quarterback. He's in for the touchdown. We have the lead, heading into the second half, and we have the ball. We start off how we ended the first half, Elway to Baldwin, this time right back to Baldwin four straight passes and that's another first down first and ten right back to Baldwin again man the guy continues making plays I'm gonna continue giving him the rock this time Toby Gerhardt with a nice cutback I try to get the trucking animation did not work out right there second and one he sends heat once again errant pass if we just let him to the outside that probably would have been six but on second and nine Elway makes up for it finds Zach Ertz down the sideline we take a two possession lead and it seems like everybody's making plays on offense all we need is one or two stops on defense if we can go ahead and chalk this up as a w but right there a one-handed moss over johnson batamosi that's what happens when you run a silver card as your starting strong safety and he's gonna dot me over the middle he's in the second and ten in the red zone now we're almost at the quarterback check this out 
How does that happen, man? We had two guys in the vicinity. Instead, he's going to waltz in for the touchdown. And that shook me up a little bit because as we got back on offense, I tried to go for it on fourth and nine. As you saw, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. First and ten, he's back on offense, and he's going to take the lead. What was once an 11-point lead for us has turned into a four-point deficit because of a terrible play where we should have had an interception. But I'm not here to make excuses, man. We got to go down the field. John Elway is known for making clutch plays in the fourth quarter. So I'm determined to get this W. First and 10, we're looking. We find Toby Gerhardt with a nice check down. He's going to get close enough for a manageable fourth and inches. Right here, we're going to find Doug Baldwin. when he comes up with a huge play right there. But we only have one timeout remaining after that play. 30 yards separates us from the end zone. And we find Richard Sherman streaking down the field. He drops the catch. That would have been a huge play. We would have taken the lead. Instead, we're going to take a sack on second and 10. Less than 10 seconds remaining. I'm determined to give Sherman another chance this time he drops it again so one play remaining do or die throwing it up to Zacherts and that's an incomplete pass so we take two L's in the all-time stand for Cardinals team video but hope you guys enjoyed this if you did and you want to see more be sure to drop a like on the video don't forget to leave in the comment section the next team you want me to do I'm determined to get a W and I want to crank out at least two maybe three to four of these all-time teams per week depending on the support you guys give me thanks for watching as usual, don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. And as for me, gotta run when I get a bird call. Yeah, happen that thing in Merkov, swerve off.